Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Caught Fishing. Today I'm back fishing Lake Meridian in my kayak. So as you guys know, this lake is usually a pretty good trout lake that's uh, stocked every year around the springtime. I have a video on kayak trout fishing at this lake if you guys want to check it out or have more details and information on the lake. I'll put a link to it in the description below. Alright, so in this outing, I'm targeting coconut at this lake. This lake is listed as one of the few lakes that hold coconuts in King County on the WDF website, but it's really not known for coconut fishing here. King County lakes aren't really well known for their coconut fishing as compared to the lakes on the east side of the mountains, especially Lake Meridian, which is listed as a coconut lake, but from all the forums and all the research I've done, it seems to be pretty dead and have been dead for many years. That's why I was surprised to see a bunch of uh, social media posts of coconut being caught at this lake uh, popping up. I wasn't sure if it was legit or not, but I figure why not give it a shot. Worst case, I'll be on a lake fishing and maybe catch some trout while I'm at it. So this is actually my first time targeting coconut directly at this lake. I usually go for trouts on the lake. Alright, so right here I'm trying to take the wheels off of my kayak. So as you can see here, I'm using the beach wheel. And while well, they are nice to uh, drag your kayaks along, taking them off, especially in the water, is pretty difficult because they're super buoyant. So you would have to lift your kayaks extra high to get them to come out, unless you want to take them off uh, by turning your kayaks over to the side. Yeah, one of the things to keep in mind if you guys are looking into whether to get the beach wheel or just the regular wheel. All right, and we're off. So it took me about. 15 minutes to get everything ready off the car, uh, everything packed up, set up, and into the water. So not too bad. Alright, so I got out on the lake at around 7 a.m. today in the morning. Condition is overcast, but decently warm for a uh, summer morning. Low winds and calm water. Great day to be out. The gear I'm using is pretty standard coconut gears. I noted them in my blog post if you guys want to check it out for the specifics that I'm using. I'll put the link in the description below. I'll also link the gears below also to save you guys a click if you guys don't want to check it out. Well, there's a lot of activities in the fish line, guess that's great. One tip I have is if possible, set up your rods before going out. Because as you can see here, especially with a longer rod, mine here is a uh, 9 foot rod for example. It's a bit of a pain to set it up out when you're uh, pedaling and trying to navigate everything. Here I'm just using a small pink squid behind an 8 inch dodger. I think the key is to have a short leader. Mine is about 10 inches here. So I think you can vary anywhere between 8 to 12 inches. The setup I got going on is trolling. My kayak has a Scotty Lake Downrigger with a 4 pound weight. Since this lake is also a 2 pole endorsed lake, I got another rod ready to go with a uh, slider rig with a about a 3 ounce weight on it. Kayak fishing is perfect for this kind of fishing. One of the keys to targeting coconuts for my research is the slow trolling speed in addition to varying your speed and your trolling patterns, which makes kayaks a great way to target them. It's also a good chance to get some exercise. Instead of just doing cardio on the treadmill, I figure I might as well get some fishing out of it. Well, that's one of my justifications to get out anyway, since time is so limited nowadays. I'll take any opportunities to get out in the water. Fish on, fish on. Fish on, baby, fish on. Is this gonna be the first coconut? Oh, I think it's a coconut. I think it's a coke. Don't have my net. Oh, 
Oh, that's the first Coke, baby. That's a Coke and E. That's our first Coke and E, baby. Look at that. <laughs> oh, the legends are true. Look at that, that's a Coke and E right there, baby. Let's go, the legends are true. First Coke and E out of Lake Meridian. First Coke, down at about 30 feet. Okay. First Coke and E, baby. Yeah, that's a beautiful fish. Coping number one. The legends are true. All right, I wasn't expecting much, but that exceeded the expectation. Woo! All right, let's get set up and get back out there. 25 on the first range. I'll take it. Alright guys, after about two hours of fishing, I called a day and head back in. I wasn't expecting much from this trip, so coming home with three kokanee is a blessing. I'm very excited for this lake as a great kokanee contender that's located in the greater Seattle area. A lot of good lessons learned today for kokanee fishing, such as how much force to set the hook and where to troll for them at this lake. That's another great thing about Lake Meridian. Fish are pretty much right by the boat launch and the park area, so you don't have to travel any far distance to get on top of the fish. Some tips for folks who are looking to try this out. Standard kokanee's gear looks to be very effective at this lake, so you don't need anything special or unique. Check out my blocks for more specific on what I use if you're interested. I'll also put a link to the gear I used in the description below. A key ingredient is tipping the lure with a piece of corn. I just used a canned corn that I had at home. I'm pretty sure any will work so you can pick up the least expensive one. If you have the gulps uh, maggots, that should also do pretty well here from what I've seen from my research. The other nice thing about this lake is that there's just a general regulations for coconut here. So that means that the limit is currently 10 a day, which is a pretty generous limit for a lake so close within the city. One quick note for folks looking to target coconut to bring home to eat is to be mindful of how much you're consuming. 
I came across a recent EPA study、uh, that was done in 2022 for this lake that found that the kokanee in this lake had a decent amount of pollutant in them. It looks to be just about as bad as Lake Washington. How this affects human health is still、uh, TBD, but I would definitely trend towards the safer side of the fish consumption advisory for this lake, which is about two meals per month for kokanee. I'll put a link down below to the health advisory. The fish consumption advisory here is pretty similar to that of Lake Washington, so I would assume that the pollutant level is pretty close. Overall, this would be a fantastic lake to take friends and family to if you want to get them on some fish, whether they be kokanee or trail, especially nice since it's so close by. But definitely go with the expectations to get your tug urge out of the way rather than primarily targeting fish for food, unless you're targeting the stock trouts, which should be a healthy、uh, alternative. Great discovery trip overall. This lake will now be likely my go to lake for spring fishing since I can target both stock trouts and kokanee at the same time. Nice close by spot with great park and some amenities. What's not to like? There's also a decent bass population here too if you're looking for that multi species action. Alright, that's it for this video. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. Thanks for watching, everyone, and until next time.